What am I doing, you ask? I'm making new window coverings for the front three windows out of dollar store Reflectix. It is paper thin. And I have no hope that it's going to keep any sort of warmth in or coolness out on my next road trip. I just need privacy at this point. Uh, I have a road trip coming up. I'm leaving Monday for Death Valley. And um, I don't have covers for my front three windows. I'm a little perturbed about this because I spent a bunch of money on custom window covers. I lost three while I was in Yosemite and I called the company that I um, went through the first time. And it's not like they came out and measured my car and they did like, I, I'm using the word custom very loosely. I had window covers made specifically for my Subaru from a company who makes window coverings for Subarus and other cars. So I say that because I called them and said, I just need to order the front three windows. And they said, no, I have to order the entire kit again. So I am a very stubborn person. And when I feel like I've been wronged in some way, my reaction is usually to uh, disconnect from that person or idea or company altogether. And it threw me into a rabbit hole of how do I make my own window coverings? Can I do it for cheaper with the same quality? And um, how hard would it be? And let me tell you, after five minutes, maybe, of cutting out this dollar store Reflectix, it's easy. <laughs> It's not only is it easy, but it's a better fit than the company that I went with previously. There's there's no there's no light getting through what I just cut out. Whereas the custom ones that I had from the previous company, uh, the corners were more rounded and you could see light poking through. So it was definitely not a stealth situation. The other issue that I had with the company that I went with previously is that the Reflectix on, and I'm using that term loosely, the, the insulating stuff that they use on their window coverings is shiny on both sides. So it's, it's um, actually, I'll get one and show you. All right, so this is from WeatherTech and it's black on one side, it's silver on the other, and it it's really nicely um, finished off. There's pull tabs. It tells you, you know, which side is up as if you need help with that. I don't know. I'm not going to be judgmental today. But anyway, if they were, I think about 140 for all of the windows in my car. They're foldable, sort of. They're a little stiff. You can see it's not a, it's not a perfect, like, flexible circle. But they are rollable. It comes with a little case. It's a really nice idea. They are also fairly thin. Um, but because of the rounded corners, they don't fit exactly into the window. So there's light that can come in or get out when you're stealth camping. That's a no go. You need to be, com or at least in my experience, you need to be completely black out. It needs to be blacked out because the blackout part is, um, re is shiny. It doesn't look stealthy. Like it doesn't look like you've um, put, oh, what is that stuff called? Like the limo stuff. You guys are screaming right now because you know the word. Uh, tint, <laughs> window tinting. Okay, let me back up. When you're stealth camping, and let me back up even further. When you're a solo female, traveler, you're always stealth camping. Even if you've paid for your spot in a camping zone, if you're completely legitimate, you're supposed to be there, you're still stealth camping. You're still following the stealth camping rules because you're a solo female. 
and if that's not if that's something you need me to get more into detail with I can but let's just at this point leave it at that so when I talk about stealth camping I mean like stealth camping yeah when you're in a neighborhood and you're not supposed to be there and you want to look like you've just parked your car and anybody who feels unsafe being alone in their vehicle stealth camping is the way to go when you have the whole purpose to having black on one side and reflectic on the other is not only for the heat cool transfer but also so that it looks like you you have window tint on your car and then people can't see in they don't know that you're in there they're not um maybe excited to get into your car to break into your car while you're trying to sleep or rob you or what have you my point to all this is that when it's shiny it doesn't look like tint it looks like you have something in your car something you know preventing somebody from seeing it it kind of draws attention to your car in my opinion because it's shiny the other thing is that i have not even owned these for six months yet and you can see that they're already starting to bubble the whatever this material is is starting to detach itself from the insulating material so worth 140 dollars no not in my opinion all right that being said i went down a massive rabbit hole on youtube my go-to location for finding out information and there are about 500 million trillion kabillion videos on how to make these window coverings I am not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you how to make these because there, are like I said, there's a plethora of people out there explaining to you how to make those. The point to this video is don't waste your money on weather tech. In my opinion, don't waste your money on weather tech stuff. It doesn't last very well. It doesn't do the best job at keeping light out and their customer service is a little wow. I mean, when I first ordered these, um, they lost the first order completely. I don't know if they did, but the, the order was lost. It took me almost six weeks to get the order, and it wasn't because of some sort of COVID shipping situation. Anyway, um, enough on Reflectix. My suggestion to you guys is go to the dollar store, purchase the dollar store cheap AF Reflectix stuff. Cut out your template, mess around with it, see what you need, what your needs are with this cheap stuff, and then make the heavy duty, um, badass window coverings, which I'm going, that's my plan. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna see how it, how it handles in Death Valley. Um, I'm gonna match this up with the weather check situation that I already have. Um, I'm going to have an amazing time, I'm sure. And then when I get home, I'm going to dive into how can I make the best window coverings for my needs at a reasonable price. If it works out and I'm happy with what I've come up with, I'll share it. But in the meantime, go search <laughs> the internet because there are so many people out there doing some really amazing things. <laughs>